All right, guys, my name is Fiends, and today I have two insane PvP maps. Well, at least one of them is literally insane. Like, I just, this just one, this one, oh my god, I'm like stuttering. I'm so like, okay, so this one just happened. It is so good, but I'm going to have to show you the original um, Kyogre sweep. I'm, I'm, I think this should be a Kyogre sweep, but this guy has five megas. Like, oh my gosh, Kyogre, what? Oh my god, what a beast is Kyogre like. Alright, I'm just going to speed it up because I do think that I, I get the um, sweep with this. Um, or for the most part, I think it was like 5 out of five out of 6. So, um, I mean, so this guy, instead of going for the Toxics in the beginning, he goes with the Icy Wind to slow me down, which honestly isn't that bad of an idea. Um, uh which I, I, I've tried using that in the past. It's not terrible. Um, would I recommend it though with a Milo tick? Absolutely not. Your Milo tick is going to outspeed basically everybody, especially um, a shiny one. So at that point, I don't know. I think I had like four calm minds up and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go for this. And so he ends up having um, toxic, I believe, instead of the Milo tick, which I was like, oh my gosh. But look how, look how much I, um, I was so close to killing that thing. And, um, and unfortunately, he was able to get that second Toxic off, which is really, really unfortunate, which put my um, Kyogre on a ticker, on a little ticking time bomb. But um, here are the Deoxys. Um, because I have the uh, so many Calm Minds, that does like no damage whatsoever. So I did, um, I took that really well, but um, it goes down pretty low again so he goes for a bulk up for some reason i'm like oh my gosh i'm just gonna take you out right now so i take him out with that scald and um i'm a i he escapes so that is why i'm considering it a kyogre sweep i only would have been able to kill one more um before my kyogre would have died to the toxic but um at that point it was no use for uh one versus five and there were all uh, three of them were mega so that was the first one insane one versus uh one mega kyogre versus five megas so um that was the first one what a what a what a sweep that's all i gotta say but this one oh my goodness server 236 has a way better team than me 236 is like for like new people like that's of the new servers but this guy has a way better team than me um for the most part he he lacks in upgrades which probably caused me to win this but here we go mewtwo x starting it off and i'm like all right unnerved toxic there we go we got to put up that substitute and um, i can start setting up right so no biggie um i'll just you know hit him with that uh Hone Claws, see if he takes me out or not, and of course he takes me out, uh, my uh, Substitute out with that um, Ice Punch. So there's the Ice Punch, um, my Substitute taken care of, but I'm like, all right, I might as well just stay in, go for that Dragon Rush, hope for a flinch, get the first flinch, oh yeah, baby, and we got two more hits to go. So I go for the first flinch, I um, don't do as much damage as I want to, but he, because he, I guess he's only because he's level 66 and he's Mewtwo X, his Ice Punch doesn't do much whatsoever. So I was able to take him out there. So I was kind of expecting him to go with the Lugia, and I was like, maybe I don't know if he's gonna go for an Ice Beam or if he's gonna go for a Toxic. So I'm just gonna play it safe, hit him with that uh, Substitute, and we'll go from there. So um, no matter what, I knew I was gonna be taken out with an Ice Beam, even before the sub so um i uh i just hit him with that dragon rush get rid of that multi-scale which was actually um really uh, really big for me so here um i'm like all right he's gonna toxic me here i might as well start setting up with my kyogre right so he goes for the first toxic gets rid of my berry and i'm like all right um let me just go for a um another one oh no i didn't go for another one because his um multi-scale was really close to getting back and I'm like I don't want him to regain his multi-scale so here I was like I might as well just um I might as well just go for a thunder to take him out maybe I can get a paralysis because I was assuming that he's going to outspeed and go for a roost or something and I was hoping for the paralysis but he just signed into to his Groudon and I was like all right who counters Groudon most my guillotine and I was like perfect I'll just get some toxics off um he had the miracle berry so I was kind of thinking maybe he doesn't have rest which is um good for me um so I I go for that second toxic, get the severe poison on, and he realized that he's not going to do anything because, especially with this stone edge 
you're missing. So um, I go into my Kyogre to um, make sure that um, he doesn't have his ability up and um, he ends up doing a lot of damage and I get taken out by poison. So that there goes my counter to Groudon and I was like, shoot, like this is a problem. So I go for the taunt hoping that he's not going to bulk up anymore and he goes for the Palkia, which honestly wasn't bad um, because Palkia is also a nerve ability and can use toxic for things and because I don't have my Garchomp to substitute anymore, um, it was good. But I take the the water pulse, I'm like, alright, spatial run maybe, but then he's only level 34, so the best he has is dragon breath. So I get to take him out um, right here with that dragon claw, and I was like, alright, Giratina put in some work. Alright, um, and uh, he sends out the Latias, and I'm like, alright, um, what's he going to do? I'll just go for a, a, a Shadow Force, and he goes for a Draco Meteor. That's like a $600 um TM, I believe. Like, that's insane amount of money. So I go for that Shadow Force, get him really low, and I'm like, all right, what's he going to do now? So he goes for the Toxic, and I'm like, all right, well, my berry's gone. I'm just going to need to take him out with the Dragon Claw here. And I'm like, all right, what's he going to do? So he goes for the Lugia, and I'm like, all right, I know he's going to Toxic me, and I need to save him because if I want to win against that um, that Groudon, I'm going to need my Giratina st to still be alive. So here he goes for the Lugia. I swap into the Steelix, knowing that the the um, that the Toxic are coming. I go for the Taunt um, to prevent him from... Uh, Toxicing my Giratina, then I'm gonna swap out of my Giratina and then hopefully take him out. But then he swaps in the ground and I'm like, all right, I'll just do fine. But he ends up having rest. I'm like, shoot, that's not good. I can't have him resting. So um, the long part is about to be here now. Oh shoot, I forgot about the notifications. Ah, I keep forgetting. So um, here we go. I'm like, all right, I might as well just go for an earthquake because he probably has another turn to wake up and then I'll taunt. But then he ended up waking up that turn and then um, I didn't get the quick cloth for the taunt. So I um, he, he got a bulk up off, which it was all right. But he hits me with the fire punch, unfortunately burns me, which means that um, no matter what, I wasn't going to be doing much with the Steelix anymore. So my Steelix is gone. And I believe this is where the um, big stuff happens. So I'm like, all right, hopefully he doesn't get his multi-scale back. Um, but what do you know? He gets his multi-scale back. And I'm like, all right, this is a huge step back. So I'm like, okay, all I need to do is toxic this Lugia and put him on the ticker because right now he is a huge threat. And I think that I might be able to take out this ground. And so my heat wave misses and I'm like, no, that might have been my only shot to take him out, right? So um, I'm just going for heat waves here because it's powered up in the sun. It is um, a special move rather than a physical move. And I was like, all right, he's asleep. I'm going to get some damage down and then I'll probably swap out um, to my Giratina uh, either before he wakes up or when he wakes up. So he ends up waking up this turn. I swap out to the Giratina and he goes for a bulk up. But I'm like, all right, this is okay. So this is where it gets super long. So I'm going to speed this up. Uh, my toxic missed like a lot during this match, but I go for the toxic. He hits me with the stone edge and realizes it doesn't do anything. So um, I just go for a shadow force, maybe try to see if how, how much damage that's going to be. But um, I'm like, all right. So here I go for the ore sphere and then I test it out the dragon claw. But because of those bulk ups, the ore sphere is what is doing the most damage because it's a special move and I'm like all right I might as well just roll with this he's just stacking up on those bulk ups I'm wondering if it's going to be the end here I'm like really struggling hoping that he would um, he would get taken out eventually but um, man he was killing me there's another toxic miss and I was like oh my gosh what luck is this so he gets like four I think this is four bulk ups and I'm like oh my god um, so there he goes that's number six full um, uh, attack and defense and he goes to sleep and I'm like all right what do I have to do so I knew that each time I had to tox because maybe he would slip up or something I don't know why he was going for the bulk ups maybe he was just trying to taunt me or something I don't really know it was very stupid of him because as you can see I ended up winning this but this is where he made his mistake so I'm gonna put it back to normal speed he made a mistake the toxic damage went really big and I got that ore sphere off because I outsped and I was like oh my gosh all right so here I'm like okay I just get my leftovers maybe I can live this ice beam and get another toxic off and that's perfect but I didn't live it unfortunately um and I was forced to swap into my Zapdos I'm like toxic 
please don't miss. You've missed like three times during this match already. I needed you to hit. And he hit. And I was like, oh my god, this is perfect for the multi-scale. I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, and I'm like, all right, I just want this toxic to rack up a little bit. So I swap to my, um, I swap out to my, um, what's it called? I should have, honestly, I should have gone for a protect. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I went for an outrage thinking that he might like roost or something, but I, I honestly was being very stupid. Um, so here he goes for an ice beam. I knew I could live it as long as he didn't crit me. So he ended up getting the freeze, but I had my miracle berry. Thank God. But I go for the roost and then he swaps out and I'm like, all right, I was going to go for a thunderbolt that round, but he ended up swapping out and taking the Venusaur getting the hit. Okay. So here before I make a move, I was very strongly debating, all right, do I go for a thunderbolt thinking that he's going to swap out and then roost back up? And um, because the toxic reset, um, do I want to risk that? Do I want to go for a Thunderbolt? Because that could be an insane play, and that would be game no matter what. And then I was also thinking, well, I don't have a Miracle Berry. He can either leech seed me or put me to sleep. If he puts me to sleep, I'm done. I need to make up my mind. So I ended up going for a Heat Wave. I wasn't going to be taking any risks with the thing. Thank God it doesn't miss. I take out the Venusaur. He hits me with the I strongly feel you are rather weak. And he escapes. So that was that match. That was insane. That was so so long that that match was insanely long honestly if he wasn't taunting me i can guarantee you i would have won that but because of the taunting that was that had to be his downfall like i don't know he i think he easily could have beat me but he didn't he chose not to so that is going to be all that i have for you guys today if you did enjoy be sure to drop that uh hit that like button it would be greatly greatly appreciated um Somebody did comment to me about streaming. I don't know if I'm going to be doing, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming anytime soon, but, um, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's out, it's up in the air. If you guys want to see me stream, I mean, sure. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it. Subscribe if you're new. I already asked for a like, but, um, subscribe if you're new. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. But other than that, my name is Fanes. On behalf of Master Guild, Server39, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.